Well, hello, friends. It's Russ Barkley. I'm back again with a quick update on a topic I know that many people with ADHD are interested in, and that is on microdosing of LSD for the management of ADHD symptoms. There's a lot of opinion out there on the internet, on TikTok and so forth, certainly in all social media. Uh, there was even one study that was done uh, back in 2023, but it was an online survey, not really a study, and it was people who were voluntarily willing to microdose LSD on their own, and they were followed over a period of four weeks, and they were assessed at baseline before they started, at week two, and at week four. This particular survey uh, found that people reported some improvement in ADHD symptoms and emotional expression from microdosing of LSD. But the biggest problem with it is it's just a survey. They were volunteers. It was done uh, over the internet. Uh, and the number of people who completed the study at week four is vastly below the number who started it. So there was a large dropout rate uh, in not only the first study, but they repeated it a second time. Again, very large dropout rate. We have to be very suspicious when most people in a study quit the study before the end point. So, for instance, it went from 233 people who were willing to experiment with microdosing. That was at baseline, and it went to 44 people who completed the four-week follow-up. So, uh, but that did report some promising results, even though it isn't a controlled study. However, just this week, published over at JAMA Psychiatry Journal, is the first randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled study of microdosing of LSD for ADHD management in adults. This study was done in two sites, uh, in Basel, Switzerland, and in Maastricht, the Netherlands. And it involved a total of, let's see, 53 adults with ADHD. They were randomized to either receiving the microdosing. So there were 12 doses given. It was given twice a week for six weeks of LSD. And then there were others assigned to a placebo. So that's the group that obviously didn't get the active ingredient, but thought they were. Uh, and they were assessed over time across this six-week trial. And what did they find? They found that ADHD symptoms were no different between those who did the microdosing and those who got placebo when people are blinded, that is, they don't know what they're getting, and when people doing the evaluation were blinded as well. So the adults with ADHD were not aware of what was happening and nor were the investigators who actually were conducting the microdosing. Uh, instead, the people who were aware are those who were doing the overall study but not involved in clinical management. So overall, it's a very good initial study. The only weakness of the study is the sample's fairly small. So that means that the power to detect small or medium effect sizes, that is changes in behavior, was pretty low here. The study would have been able to pick up large effect sizes or greater. But that said, it looks like if LSD microdosing is having a positive effect, it certainly wasn't picked up in this study, meaning that if there's an effect, it's probably small if it's there at all. So we need a lot more research before we can draw any conclusions about the value of microdosing of LSD for adults with ADHD. But so far, this very first well-done study isn't finding any benefit. Stay tuned. If I see anything more coming out, I'll get right back to you. But meanwhile, I'll put the study reference over in the description in case you want to find the link to it, to both this one and the survey. And I hope you found this to be informative. Thanks everybody for joining me today. I'll catch up with you later in the week for another research update and commentary. As always, Russ Barkley signing off with live well, be well, and take care. Bye for now.